What's up, Hotel Nation? In this video, I'm gonna show you the unboxing and setup of a Trezor hardware wallet. Last week, I uploaded a video where I discussed what I believe is the best crypto wallet setup, and the cold wallet that I used in that video was a Trezor hardware wallet. So with the recent big news of Atomic Wallet being hacked, SEC suing both Coinbase and Binance, it's never been more important to take your funds off an exchange and store it in a secured wallet. So I just wanted to give you the entire process step by step on how to get this set up and anything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. So let's get started. As you can see, the Trezor comes in a nicely sealed package. Now you definitely wanna double check the seal on this and make sure that it was never tampered with. Once the seal is removed, you can then slide out the main compartment. This is where you're gonna see your actual hardware wallet. Open up that box to gain access to your device. Now this section also includes another box that will have some manuals, your seed phrase documents, and a USB-C cable. Another nice feature that's included is a magnetic backing. And this magnetic backing can be applied to any service that lets you easily hide or access your wallet. And I could definitely see this being applied underneath a desk or behind a bookshelf, somewhere that makes it difficult for strangers to find. And once you take out your Trezor, another safety feature that you definitely want to double check is the holographic seal. Now this seal is applied to the USB port to make sure it hasn't been tampered with. Now as you can see, by removing this tape, it absolutely destroys the hologram. And this hologram is very difficult to remove, but I can see why they put it there and it's definitely a good thing. And now your wallet is fully unboxed. So the software setup is extremely easy. It's literally four steps, as you can see on the box. So the first step in the software setup is plugging in your Trezor with the included USB cable. You'll also see a welcome message on the screen that directs you to their website. This is where you can download Trezor Suite, which is the application you wanna to use to manage your portfolio and send or receive funds. And when you first open up this application, it's gonna want you to confirm some security checks. So this basically means to uh, check the holographic seal that we went over earlier uh, to make sure that you purchased this device from a trusted source and that the package was never tampered with. And it did prompt me to update my firmware. Now this may or may not be the case for you. It all depends on when you purchased your Trezor. And after I updated the firmware, it did restart and then now we can continue with the setup. And now we can create our first wallet on the device and it will ask you to physically confirm that that's the option you wanna choose. And once confirmed, the first thing you wanna do is back up your seed phrase. This is super important. So this is something that I wanna focus on in case you're new to crypto. So the seed phrase is what actually gives you or someone else access to your wallet. So you really wanna make sure that the seed phrase is kept secure. This means physically writing down the seed phrase and keep it in a secure location. Don't ever repeat the seed phrase or tell anyone about your seed phrase. And you also don't even wanna take a picture of the seed phrase in case your computer or your phone is compromised. So now that we're clear on that, your seed phrase will now start to display on the Trezor screen. Then you wanna go through each word one by one and write them down. Now Trezor does include some paper where you can use to write these words down. If you wanna go extra secure, there are aftermarket metal plates that you can use to write down your seed phrase. These are basically metal plates that you stamp in each word. These metal plates are the ultimate way to keep your seed phrase because unlike ink, these metal plates will never fade away. You could literally bury these plates and always be able to recover your seed phrase. So I'll leave some links to some good quality metal plates down below. And when you finish writing down and confirming your seed phrase, you can then go back to the Trezor software to set your pin. And this pin will need to be entered anytime you wanna use your Trezor wallet. Uh, this is a lot like entering a pin to your iPhone. And that is basically the setup. You can now use your new Trezor hardware wallet. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I did upload another video where I discuss what I believe is the best crypto wallet setup ecosystem. Now, this is gonna allow you to integrate both hot and cold wallets giving you the convenience of a hot wallet but the security of a cold wallet, like your Trezor. So if you wanna give that a watch, I will place the video link down below. But that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this video has helped some of you out there in some way, but I'll see you on the next one.